hiking 70 miles across the Slovenian Alps. Life is all about contrast, challenging yourself one minute and experiencing bliss the next. So I was looking for a place that would allow me to do exactly that. Oh, I'm Liam by the way. Slovenia seemed like a great choice. Triglav National Park to be exact. I'll be hiking 70 miles across the national park from north to south. With its tough terrain, a 2,800 meter mountain to climb and numerous picturesque lakes to swim in, I was in for a treat. Not to mention it's one of the most forested countries in Europe with around 900 brown bear calling it their home. I'd obviously try to avoid them if I can. I'll be living out of my pack and camping alongside nature wherever possible. Being high up in the mountains at night is, well, you witness some special sights. I'm just going to let this adventure guide me, living minute by minute, nothing planned, the way I like it. I cannot wait. Right now then, I am in Slovenia. I am in Triglav National Park. And the views, there you are, something else. What a way to start. So, I'm in the north. I'll be heading through the centre of the National Park over Mount Triglav, if you've seen the Slovenian emblem for the country. The mountain that is Triglav, it's around 2,800 meters if I'm not mistaken. I'll be trying to climb it halfway. I'll be finishing right in the south, which is pretty much that way. I see a trail. I'll be heading along that in a second. Yeah, everything I need is in my pack. Should be fun. Lots of sketchy sections apparently, a lack of water, 900 bears in Slovenia, brown bear that is. I'll try to be careful. Let's go. This is going to be an experience. The terrain underfoot was loose scree. It would be like this all over these mountains. It meant I'd have to watch out for rockfall, a very common occurrence. I'd follow markers like this painted onto the rocks. I don't think I'd ever seen a clearer day than this. I could see across the whole of Slovenia. I'd often stop and look towards the forest below. I did wonder if there were any bear around. It kept me on my toes. There's so many crickets around. There's one right there. <laughs> you just hop away and just buzz away from you. I tried to catch the cricket. It was way too quick for me though. I'm just taking it all in. It's not often you get to wander around places like this. It's so quiet. It's very hot. <laughs> Quite a bit of incline, but I mean the views are definitely worth it. I can hear crickets and the slight rustle of wind. That is it. I think I'm heading up there. It's just weaves. Sky is so blue, like contrasting against all of the mountains. And you look that way, even better. You look where I've just came. <laughs> like... Triglav National Park. This is just the beginning. What? The world just gets better and better, doesn't it? Just about to tackle this incline. Hands are free. Oh, it's getting a bit serious. Got the cables. Ooh, if you don't like heights, look away. Ooh, I feel alive. Whenever I get to the top of a peak, I get a huge feeling of bliss. 
The only thing to do is to be in the moment. So the route I'll be taking is, it goes here and then up over there, I think. <laughs> I really can't see a path after here, so it's a lot of scrambling. All I can think was, do not slip. Just stopped for a break in the cave, so I'm covered from the sun. Slightly nice view. I've just come across this though, let me show you. There's actually some flat ground here. It's the flattest ground I've seen for about three hours, so I may have to use it. I'm gonna keep going on that way, get over the ridge. If there's nothing, I can make my way back. But have a look at this. I've never seen this before, only in pictures, but this is, I'm pretty sure you pronounce, is it Edelweiss or Edelweiss? I could be wrong either way. Anyway, it's an, it's an alpine flower. It only grows above a certain height. And I'm pretty sure in World War I, World War II, the German soldiers used to pick it and put it in their, you know, top pocket. And it was a sign of a, you know, a true fit soldier. So it meant they could get this high to be able to pick it. And look how beautiful it is. I've never seen that before. My senses were heightened. Time seemed to slow down a lot. I had to think about every step up here. It was all worth it though. I'd go on a little further. Sun's going down. I've just been severely humbled. Oh, my knees. So I, I was up there, I got over it, and I was literally up there, the highest point that, and I wasn't supposed to be up there because you need your like, special kit, helmet, theophrata, you know, the cables to attach to. I was, I don't even want to put it on the screen, it's uh, stupid, severely humbled, I will never be doing that again. So. I'm going to head down. I've headed halfway down, so I've got a headlamp. Uh, the worst parts are out of the way now, so I can head back, hopefully, to towards that cabin, and I'll try to find a spot there. So there's absolutely nothing up there. Uh, I'm going to have to rethink this whole adventure. <sighs> that was uh, not nice. I had serious... My stomach went, legs went... One slip is all it took. All right. I'm just glad I realized quickly. So I'm going to have a drink, have something to like a snack. And then I've probably got 15 minutes left of sunlight. And then I'm, I've got my headlamp. So there are signs though, so I should be okay. That was an experience. It's amazingly beautiful, given how scary it can be. <laughs> Two guys went past me with helmet and, you know, it's called Via Ferrata equipment, where you like hook onto like the actual line and you, it's a lot safer. And they looked at me like, wow, what is this guy on? And it was at that point, Liam knew he effed up. just important you know once you humble yourself or once you get humbled take it on board and learn from it because if you don't well who knows who knows I'd make my way down the mountain trying to beat the darkness
found a mountain hut and got myself a local Slovenian beer. It was well needed. A shower after all that was heaven. I definitely sleep well. The plan was to make my way down Slovenia's highest mountain road called Versic Pass. It sure was a beautiful day to be walking. I came across a monument. It was full of Russian prisoners of war who built this road during World War I. I eventually reached the bottom, so I headed towards a climbing equipment rental store. You know, Slovenians have some of the best villages I've ever seen. It was so colourful. I waited next to the river for the store to open, so I put my feet up and relaxed. The day went by and after lots of road walking, I started to look for a place to sleep. I made sure to wait until sunset. I found a spot just next to the main road, behind some wood piles. Got the forest behind me, the sun's just gone down. I was up nice and early, ready for the day ahead. This is my favourite time to walk, going from the cold shadows to the openings that bring the golden morning sun. It's such a great feeling. Now I get why humans like to live in valleys like this. What a perfect place. morning just look at this valley hills in every direction heading that way oh it's so nice to have the sun just i was down below a valley and it was so just dark i didn't know what time it was when i when i woke up it was only early but luckily the sun's come over now i'm in this beautiful valley uh, so Yesterday I rented some gear, I got a helmet and some climbing equipment and I'm going to climb Mount Triglav today. I'm just making my way there to the start point and then I will, I think I might do it today, I don't know. I'll see what time I get there but I think it's quite, I think it's about four to five hours to get up, same to get down. So I'll see what happens. If not, I can attempt it tomorrow morning, early, and watch the, like, the sun rise. Should be nice. This would be a great place to live. It's all quiet. I'm not sure how you pronounce this area, but it, it's spelled like K-R-M-A. Kerma or Kerm? Kerma? I don't know. My Slovenian is just not there yet. But Kerma Valley, I'm going to call it. Make them away for it. It's nice. That's where I'd be heading towards. The smell of the freshly cut trees is brilliant. I wish I could bottle that scent. So I've read that these valleys are home to the golden eagle. Haven't seen one yet, but if I was a golden eagle, pretty sure I'd make this my home. Not a bad place to live, is it? Cows always seem content. They're honestly some of the happiest animals on earth. Speaking of happy, I found a cattle trough. I could fill all my water bottles up. I was able to get a quick wash too.
Oh, looks like a bear's had somebody. It's just a flip-flop left behind. <laughs> I've come across this, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's a Lamborghini tractor, yeah. Lamborghini, what? I was amazed. I was surrounded by wildlife. This place was alive. The first climb was coming up. I'd start to ascend from here on out. On this random mountain pass, I'm climbing up. There's a banana. <laughs> I promise you that's not mine. It's, you could still probably eat that. I'm gonna leave it there just in case someone is in trouble. If I was hungry, I'd have no problems eating that. <laughs> I was almost as high as the horizon in the distance, and I'd still keep going higher. Sometimes it doesn't seem like I'm on Earth. Landscapes like this look otherworldly. One last push to the hut. <laughs> the hut was a welcome pit stop before the final push. I needed a sugar boost, so a coke had to do. I had a few hours of sunlight left, so it was now or never. I'm gonna try to summit trigger up now. Got a little friend. Isn't even scared. So helmets on. Climbing equipment. Just in case. Almost instantly, I get a taste Ooh. of what was to come. Now on to this. From here on out, the views speak for themselves. I got a quick summit picture and explored a little. I was surprised that it was so busy up top. I had a rest and then I started to head down. Nearly down. Oh, that's a good sight. Even up here, beautiful flowers are growing. <laughs> it's got a nice view, hasn't it? I 
I don't think they're fully grown. Not compared to the one I've seen before. <laughs> they are tough animals to live up here. Either that or they love a good view. <sighs> this has been worth it. <laughs> That's the sunset. Maybe in the distance you can see the flat valley. That looks like heaven down there. I'm so glad that's over and done with. That was terrible. Terrible. I was just speaking to another guy and he said, him, his girlfriend and a few friends were like, let's go to Triglav. We've never done it before. And he was like, it's no joke. It really isn't. I've seen kids like on a uh, YouTube climb that. I don't know how. <laughs> I would not advise that without equipment at all. Uh, and to top it off, <laughs> I was expecting it. I was always going to camp anyway, but I'm just leaving the hut behind. Got myself a beer. It split at the bottom, so it looked like I'd... Do you know that trick you do where you split it at the bottom and you... Yeah, it looked like I was doing that. I didn't. I wasn't trying to be cool or anything. It just... <laughs> The pressure, it just burst. Got about 30 minutes of sunlight left. I'm just gonna find a place to camp. Oh, it's so nice. That was, that was so scary. So scary. I haven't got my mountain legs. Like that is a proper mountain. <sighs> the relief to have done it though. I'm glad to put yourself in uncomfortable positions like that every now and again. You gotta do it. I get to witness a phenomenon called Alpenglow. This alone made all of the adventure worth it. I spotted a big group of chamois just grazing away. It's definitely silent down here. I can hear my heartbeat. I can hear my ears just, I've never experienced this. It's pretty cool. So I found a relatively flat spot on the grass, just here. I'm gonna set up, get some food on, and I'm gonna hit the hay because I deserve it. <laughs> okay, let's set up camp. You know, I've just been outside for about 15 minutes just staring at the sky. There's not a cloud in sight. Light pollution is zero in Triglav National Park and it's beautiful. My camera doesn't pick it up, otherwise I'd show you, but you can see the whole Milky Way. It really does put it into perspective how little we are. Um, you know, what's out there, it's left me speechless, really. I could have listened to a podcast and just sat in my tent, but I just, uh, yeah, I was washing my pot and I just looked up and just, wow. <laughs> I'll see you all in the morning. I woke up to a helicopter going overhead. It's the way the mountain hut is resupplied. The sun was just starting to rise above the peaks. I still don't know which is more beautiful, sunrise or sunset. Just making my way down. And this should be the last hard bit, hopefully. There's a bit of a scramble down here. And then onto the valley, down towards it. Getting up early meant I had a full day of adventuring to look forward to. 
it was time to get the miles in. I could hear an eagle close by. And there it was. I managed to see my first golden eagle. So majestic. The downhill road walking was a great change of pace compared to the jagged scree of Triglav. I passed the wood stack where I camped a couple nights before. Reaching a village, I'd follow some roads to my next destination. There was only one thing to do in this situation. I put my feet up and took in the scenery. I took a well-deserved dip to cool off, and let me tell you, it was so good. This place is paradise compared to the past couple days. <laughs> Such a contrast. <sighs> I'm so fresh after that dip. I think I've timed it perfect, you know. Just look at this place. This is Lake Boheen. Rather than go to Lake Bled, which is the most popular lake in Slovenia, I've come to the second most popular. But it's an hour before sunset and I've kind of got this strip to myself. It's not a beach, but it's, it'll do. So I plan on camping here. Just like 10 minutes. I'm going to set up before uh, the sun goes down. That way I shouldn't get spotted. But... I mean, this is my view. Oh. They were a tough few days. A tough, tough few days. Uh, I've got a beer. It's been chilling for about half an hour. The water is actually pretty warm here, but as soon as you just get out there, when it starts to go down, it is freezing. This is a glacial lake. It was formed during one of the ice ages, apparently. It fills from all the glacier melt three times a year. And it is my idea of paradise right now. So this is a Slovenian beer called Lasko. Let's give it a try. I'm looking forward to this. Oh no. Oh, it's cold. Okay, to the past few days. It is, oh, I've never had a bad beer to be honest. <laughs> it was made in 1825. Very nice. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. But this night cannot get any better. What a view. In that moment, I felt all the stresses of life melt away. This is exactly why I do this stuff. I turned in and got some rest. During the night, the mist had rolled in over the lake. It was the ideal cover for me not to be spotted. Man, I slept well, just woken up, and I'm taking in the view. Lake Boheen, magical. I think this is the perfect place to end it. So after making my way from the north of the National Park, all the way down, climbing Triglav, and finishing here in Lake Boheen, it's not too shabby. The fresh air. Love it. Love it. Well, I need some recovery. 
because True Love is taken out of me. <laughs> Nothing that some Slovenian food and a few beers can't fix, so. Yeah, this has been it for Slovenia. I'll definitely be back. It's got that old timey feel to it still, and I really appreciate that. So Slovenia, thank you.